Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create USPS scan forms within Shipping Easy. Scan forms combine multiple USPS tracking numbers into a single scannable barcode that allows you to activate the tracking for every package included in the scan form at the same time. This is incredibly helpful when you have a stack of packages that need to be scanned by your mail person. They are super easy to make, but have a couple of things to keep in mind. So let's get started. There are two places from which you can create a scan form within Shipping Easy, the Ready to Print page and the Shipment History page. I'm going to use the Shipment History page, but really quick I'll show you where to find it on the Ready to Print page. Hover over Shipments on the blue bar and select Ready to Print. To create a scan form from this page, click USPS Scan right here. But let's go to the Shipment History page because that is the more common place for them to be created and the process of creating the form on either page is the same. Hover over Shipments on the blue bar at the top and select Shipment History. Then click USPS Scan Form right here. When you click it, you're taken to the Scan Form Creation page. This shows all your shipments categorized by shipment date. This is the date that a shipment is scheduled to be shipped. You do have the option to post date a label to a later date, if you do this, the shipment will appear on the scan form for that particular date. Shipments can only be added to a scan form on the day of their ship date. If that day is passed, the shipment cannot be added to a scan form. After 9 p.m. Pacific time, you can no longer add shipments to that date's scan form. Using the filters on the left, you can print scan forms for future dates if you have post-dated labels as well as orders with a specific origin zip code or store. To print the scan form, select the orders you wish to include on the form and hit the Create Scan Form button. This confirmation is very important and you should make sure it's true about your orders before creating a scan form for one very important reason. It is much harder to refund a label after it's been added to a scan form. For this reason, I recommend printing the scan form last, before you drop off the packages or as the mail carrier is coming to pick them up. So hit proceed and the scan form will be created. And you can print it out and give it to the very happy post office employee as they no longer have to scan each individual package you give them. Just remember two important things about scan forms. They must be printed on or before the ship date of the package, and two, it's much more difficult to refund a label that's been added to a scan form, so make sure any label corrections are done before creating the form. Thanks for watching, everyone!